government mark that day in your papers as being the day of you everything is man-made everything is illusory today's topic is birthday melancholy i'm sure that most of us have experienced this state of mind in some way or another this dragging feeling when yet another year has passed but somehow you don't feel that you have come any closer towards your goals aspirations which consequentially can make you feel bad about yourself and your situation but don't worry, hopefully this video will give you some perspective and make you understand that birthday is nothing but an illusion. It's generally agreed that your birthdays are supposed to be a time of celebrating, dining with family, carousing with friends, or passing time with your significant other. Sometimes, however, that's not the case, and the day when you're supposed to celebrate yourself becomes drab and melancholy, a reminder of another year passing by. Yeah, hopefully that it's a time of celebration, but for many it does end up in consumerism fest. Anxiety over presents and what you should buy, what you should receive. A tradition of giving gifts is just one way of showing appreciation for a certain person. But in our culture, we all assume that everyone has the same love language, or whatever you can call it. The same reciprocity for appreciation. Birthdays are extremely fun when you're a kid, gathering all the gifts and attention, but as you become adult, as time flies by much faster than before, you start to realize that maybe, just maybe, this day is not about celebration of my achievements, of who I am. First, adjust your expectations. Planning a large party can be a lot of fun, but it can also be very taxing to see through, and you may end up not enjoying your own celebrations. A smaller event with just a few close friends helps to keep expectations manageable. If you let things unfold naturally, just getting together with people you like can be its own reward. First of all, you have to acknowledge that the celebration of your birthday is not about others. It's about you. And it's up to you to decide whether you want to do something grandiose or something more intimate with your closed ones. Heck, there are many of us who have very lonesome lifestyle and there's a high probability of you celebrating by yourself if you can call that maybe ordering in some great tasting food and cold beverage and watch some film in your own company while there's a cold dessert awaiting for you in your refrigerator or maybe it doesn't have to do something with food maybe you can treat yourself by having an experience museum film theater a roller coaster ride it's up to you second keep yourself busy Shopping, going to the movies, or just catching the sunset can give you something to take your mind off the things that may be troubling you. Being passive makes it easier for negative thoughts to consume you, but by keeping moving, you can keep your focus on what the day means to you. Of course, distractions may serve you as a, a tool of escaping those dark, gloomy thoughts. But it's not about that. It's just a way of sweeping the problems under a rag. The real issue here is to recognize why you're feeling the way you do and try to address them in an adult, mature way. I say welcome those thoughts and dig deeper to get a sense of what they represent. There's a reason why we feel birthday melancholy, and I will get back to it in a minute. Third, focus on what you've accomplished. Birthdays are milestones, so it's easy to look at them as signs of another year going by without living up to your goals. However, it's also possible to look back on a year in terms of the steps you've taken forward. Age isn't an expiration date, and a good life doesn't mean bad days will cease to exist. Remembering that this is one birthday out of many reminds you that there is always the potential to grow wiser, happier, and more accomplished with each coming year. And there you go. The reason to why you feel sad is because it represents a kind of milestone. And if you are not on the right direction towards your goals, aspirations, dreams, you might feel depressed. This is not the life that I envisioned for myself. Am I a failure? Am I lazy? Am I doing this life thing wrong? And I agree that age isn't an expiration date. After all, you can put together two people of exact same age and they could look very different compared to each other because of the lifestyle choices they have made previously. The diet they have, the hobbies they have. Maybe one of them likes to eat a lot of junk food and go out and party and doesn't give a crap about fitness. Whereas the other one does the opposite takes care of his health diet wise and fitness wise and also doesn't do a lot of partying age is just a number a ballpark that government puts on your paperwork in order to compartmentalize you in a group of people of a certain demographic with certain plausible similarities making sweeping generalizations the way you look and feel is totally up to you four make yourself responsible for your happiness receiving a birthday gift is a great thing but depending on another person for validation can also be a little counterintuitive on what's supposed to be your day. Treat yourself is the order of the day. 
By learning to rely on yourself, you can make your birthday very special in a deeply fulfilling and personal way. That is exactly what they are. Gifts are nothing but validation. And if you feel that there's no one to give you gifts, to cheer you up or celebrate you when you supposedly have come to this world, then my friend, you have bigger issues. This tells me that you are not that close with yourself. You don't understand yourself, your own needs and your wishes. The time that it takes for people to mature differs vastly between individuals. And the moment you will hit your stride doesn't have to be synchronized with the same moment for your friends. And also for something grandiose to happen in your life, you have to always take action. This demands a self-assessing inquiry, bringing up the tough questions and giving them the honest answers. Also, I would like to mention that although the birthday isn't any kind of an expiration date, there is a certain time frame where you will have the most energy to accomplish your potential goals in life. But it doesn't say this nor that. It just pinpoints the highest probability for you to succeed in your endeavors. Of course, depending the nature of those endeavors. Fifth, let your friends and family know how you feel. Sometimes the people close to you may not completely pick up on your specific situation, and that can make it seem like they don't care, when in fact they do. You shouldn't feel like you have to hide yourself from the people you value in your life. The people who matter won't mind helping to lift your spirits when you need it. Exactly. If you have any close people to you, they don't have to be present to celebrate your birth. You can always reach out to them. And whenever you feel gloomy, it's more difficult to see yourself objectively. So a caring ear might come in place. Talk with them, discuss with them, not whine for them. Rather, let them help you to uncover your sadness by understanding what that is that you are sad about. It's easier for a detached, clear mind to see the situation for what it is. Sixth. A little crying is okay. Sometimes a quick release is what you need, and if you've got to purge yourself of emotional toxins, there's no reason to hold back. Knowing that you've got the birthday blues doesn't make you less of a person, and acting on that can make not only for a better birthday, but a better year to come. If you have emotions that have bottled up, then go ahead, release them. Release the pressure, and at the same time, when your head gets more clear, try to take this moment as a learning experience about yourself, getting to know yourself, so that the same thing doesn't happen to you the next year. All in all, try to recognize that this state of mind is just your body trying to tell you something, something that you have been ignoring for a while. Seventh, turn the sadness into a learning experience. You've established that you feel lonely on your birthday, but you've also seen some good ways to fight that loneliness and make it a good day. If you can reflect on the causes of your birthday blues and the solutions that you can put into play, there's good odds that you can find some way to learn from them and make your next birthday even more fulfilling and joyous. You see, as I said previously, it's not about what others would think about you. If you don't throw a party to celebrate yourself, not making a huge fuss about this constellation is just a sign of maturity. And you wanting to be for yourself is your wish and you should go along with that. Yet again, birthday is an illusory happening during a certain day of the year, a certain day in the calendar that we people made up, you came to this world and government marked that day in your papers as being the day of you. Everything is man-made, everything is illusory. What you feel is just a perception, maybe a feeling of missing out, maybe a jealousy, maybe wishing for something else that isn't because you didn't put the work in. So it's a great opportunity for you to understand yourself and get your shit together. And only after you understand and grasp all of this man-made consumerism concept, you will be able to start to enjoy your birthdays once again because you will come to this place in non-attached state from that point and on birthdays will be nothing but an extra opportunity to celebrate life leave your video suggestions in the commentary section but for now Hossein out <laughs>